What is going on, everybody? 4 for 4 Philly fan back with another YouTube video. This video, I will be talking about the Flyers' 4 to 1 victory over the Florida Panthers last night. Now, the Flyers at home basically play like the Sixers at home. They are so good at home. Very good at home. They beat the Panthers yesterday. They beat the Capitals the other day, 7-2. to two. Didn't talk about that video. Had some work. But the Flyers are... The Flyers are playing good. They're playing good hockey. And it sucks we're in the Eastern Conference. Because looking at the standings, if we were in the West, the Flyers would be the third seed in the Western Conference. In the East... We are fighting for that last playoff spot in the wild card. Now the Flyers obviously won the game yesterday. In the first period, they went down one nothing. I don't know who scored for them. But then, a couple minutes later, Provorov has a snipe. Top right corner of the net. Basically went bar down. It was a beautiful shot. One timer, like snapshot. It was, it was, a, it was a nice shot. Then, you know, the Flyers just kept they they just kept attacking. They really did, and the Flyers are playing a good brand of hockey right now. They really are. Like it's fun to watch this team play hockey. The second goal was a Jake Voracek pass to JVR. Out, uh, Voracek came running, like basically sprinting out of. The bench. The puck was like right here. And JVR just grabbed it. Started skating with it. Two on one. Passed it. Right to JVR. Backhanded. Into the net. Kevin Hayes. Had multiple chances last night. And so did Provorov. Provorov was obviously on a little bit of a drought. But. You know he scored yesterday. Hayes. I love Kevin Hayes. It's it, I love watching Kevin Hayes play hockey, and I'm very I'm so glad that we have him for seven years. I really am. I say it all the time. But I mean, when you beat Metropolitan Division rivals or Eastern Conference rivals, it it really do, it just makes winning better. We play the Islanders tonight in New York. That's going to be a good game. That's going to be a good hockey game. It really is a good hockey game. Drew also scored yesterday. And I can't remember the last person that scored. But Drew scored an empty net backhander on the... Uh, pretty sure it was on the penalty kill. I think. The Panthers missed a wide open net. Drew got it. Just slapped it all the way down the ice. And we scored. Flyers win. 4-1. to one. We play the Islanders tonight. I really... I don't know what to expect. Like, the season is slowly coming to a close. And I just don't know what to expect from this team. I really don't. I know... I think they make the... I think they can make the playoffs. I really do believe that they can. They've been very good all season long. And the Flyers are just having... A good season. They really are. Everybody. Myers. Farabee. Konechny. Giroux. Like, it goes from the young guys all the way up. Oh, Carter Hart also started yesterday. Saved 30 of 31 shots. Glad to have him back on the ice. I'm pretty sure Brian Elliott's going to go tonight. Obviously, in a back-to-back. -back. But... I'm loving the Flyers. I really am. And I really, I just need them to make the playoffs. I need some playoff hockey. I really do. So, the Flyers, man. Flyers, Flyers, Flyers. I really, I, like, I haven't really watched hockey a ton in my life. Like, I've watched it, but the Flyers haven't been, like, great to where, like, like, Pittsburgh's been great. Washington, most of the time, like, for the past couple of years, have been great. The Flyers were never great, great. They were good. They had a good team in 2010. 
But the Flyers now, you could tell that the culture of the team is changing. You could tell that it's all starting to flip around a little bit. And I love it. We have the young guys. We have the vets. We have the goaltender. We have the coach. The coach is everything. You really, like, if you go around the Philadelphia teams, if you look at the coaches, it makes a difference. It really does. It makes a difference. When you have Doug Peterson, you know, coming in for Chip Kelly, and then Peterson wins the Super Bowl two years after Kelly leaves. We haven't had a good Sixers coach since Larry Brown, honestly. I mean, Doug Collins was okay, but Larry Brown got us to the finals. He got us past that, like, the mediocrity that Doug Collins couldn't. And that's what led to the process, because we had to blow everything up. Larry Brown had a good playoff run team through basically Iverson's career. The Phillies... Charlie Manuel, as soon as he came back last year as the hitting coach, the Phillies sweep the Cubs. And the bats start getting hotter. Bryce Harper and JT had a very good second half of the year. And I can't really say that it wasn't because of Charlie Manuel because I feel like it was. He ignored the analytics and they went along and they just hit. They hit. It, it it goes so far. It goes so far coaching. And from going from Hackstall last year to Vignole this year, A.V. is a game changer. He really is. He's a game changer. I've been to multiple practices this year for the Flyers. He is a game changer. He's on the ice. He, he has them do... Laps around the ice. He does two on ones. He does breakaways. He does zones. He's just that much better of a coach. There's reasons why he's been to the Stanley Cup twice. There's reasons for that. He's a good coach. And now we have the pieces to help him. We have the young guys that can help. We have the older guys that can help. We have the goaltender that can help. And A.V. has changed a lot for this Flyers team. He really has. A.V. has been, like, I he has not been talked enough, talked about enough in the city of Philadelphia. He just hasn't. A.V. is one of the main reasons for the Flyers' success this year, if not the main reason for the Flyers' success. And I can't be mad at it. I mean... How can you be mad at that? The Flyers sucked last year. It was as simple as that. The Flyers were not a good team last year. This year, they could, They are a playoff team. They are a playoff team this year. They should be in the playoffs this year. Who knows where we'll finish at the end of the season? Whether it be second seed in the Metro, third seed in the Metro, second seed in the Wild Card, first seed in the Wild Card. Because that's just how it works in hockey. And it sucks. It really does suck. Because if it wasn't like that, if it was like basketball, we'd be like the fourth or fifth seed. We'd be sitting in a playoff spot and we wouldn't really have to worry about much. But instead, the Islanders, which is a huge game tonight. It's a huge game for the Flyers tonight to get those two points. And to keep the Islanders from any. Win in regulation. If you win in regulation... You're now in the third seed in the Metro. And then you build from there. We play the Islanders tonight. And it's going it's it's gonna be a battle. It I I could feel that it could be playoff intensity hockey for the Flyers. Really. And I'm I'm excited. I mean, obviously I know that the Sixers and the Clippers are playing and I'll be at that game, but you you better believe that I will have that Flyers game on my phone running the entire time. Because I love watching the Flyers. I do. The Flyers are a fun team to watch. Because they have exceeded all my expectations. 
That's why they're fun. The Phillies last year was so unfun because they were terrible at the end of the year. The Eagles was not fun because I, I predicted the Eagles to go 13-3. and They were 9-7. and I predicted the Phillies to win 95 games. They won 81. I have the Sixers winning 60 games. It's not going to happen. It already can't happen. They have to win out. They can lose one more game, and that's it. But with the Flyers, I didn't know what I was getting. I thought, all right, we'll take a step in the right direction. We'll be floating around the playoffs in the beginning. But now you look at it, mid-February, and they're still there. And we have a chance to take over a top-tier spot from a good team that's been in the playoffs the last couple years. Tonight's game is going to be a fun one. Definitely. And I will definitely be tuning into that. Now that's it for this video. Flyers win 4-1 to one against the Florida Panthers. They play tonight against the New York Islanders. That's it for this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.